What is up, people? Today, I'm standing in front of a gray wall to talk to you about these. These are the Taito and Namco Nostalgia Let's Play TV Classic games, which were released only in Japan. And uh, there's not a ton of information about them out there. I happen to have the set. So I'm taking this opportunity to tell you about them. So I hope you will enjoy this video, and I will be making videos uh, showing the gameplay for each of these. Now they all uh, are based on Zavix technology, and if you don't know about Zavix, well man, if you call yourself a gamer, Zavix, come on man. They made basically motion control games around the same time that Wii was making them, except you actually had a bat. And you bought these different peripherals, and there's a bowling ball, and I have that somewhere too, but I just moved so I can't find some. Anyway, yeah, big flop, this stuff. <laughs> but uh, fortunately, these games are much better. All right, here we have Taito Nostalgia 1, The Legend of Kage, which means Shadow, and Golden Castle. And then the uh, updated or revised ones are <laughs> the revised Legend of Kage, which lets you play with new characters. Uh, and then Amazon's Golden Castle, which also has a new character, and there's there's some other differences, but I'll get into that more when I do the gameplay videos. And here you can see the back of the box for Taito Nostalgia 1. On to Taito Nostalgia 2. This has uh, this is my favorite of the bunch, so I was happy to find an extra one of this one. It's Kiki Kai Kai. And, key, and then uh, Slap Fight. Slap Fight's actually quite an expensive game to get on the Mega Drive. Kiki Kai Kai as well, really. Anywho, uh, Kiki Kai Kai Kakurembo, which is a uh, play on words. Kakurembo means hide and seek in Japanese, but this is actually different kanji, Chinese characters, and it's the name of a Buddhist monk from the Taito game, Bones Adventure. And then you've got Slap Fight Tiger, uh, which lets you play as the tiger from Tiger Heli. Namco time. This is Nostalgia 1. It's got Xevious and Mappy. And then the um, sort of sequel games are Xevious Scramble Mission and Mappy Revenge of Nyamco. Another play on words. Nya is what cats say uh, in Japanese. And actually, Namco uses that theme a lot in uh, games like Ridge Racer and stuff. So you might already know that, right? So yeah, that's Namco Nostalgia 1. Namco Nostalgia 2 has Gapless and Dragon Buster, and then Gapless Phalanx and Dragon Buster 100. Uh, as I said before, or I meant to say anyway, the Namco games have uh, read, they've got different games altogether that just use the same sort of programming stuff. And then here we have the very necessary plug-in cables. Uh, it does say on Wikipedia that you can use batteries, but I didn't find anything in the manual or on the box saying I could use batteries, and I looked at the controller itself and I don't see any place to put them in, so I think at least the ones that I've got, maybe there are different versions, but the ones that I've got require the plug-in. Alright, a quick word about the marketing on these. Uh, it was bad. First of all, if you bought, sorry, if you bought one of these things, this is all you got, besides uh, what I'll show you later on in the video that came in the box. And despite what <coughs> despite what Wikipedia says, you can't, anywhere that I can find anyway, put batteries in these. You need to have the plug-in cable as well, well the AV cable and the, and the adapter here, right? The adapters are like this, yeah. And then they also released this monster which is pretty long and that's a good thing. I don't know, what is it, two meters I guess? More than two meters even, maybe? Let's find out. Yeah, that's, I guess, three meters. Wow, that's a good length. But um, the rubber on the outside, or plastic, whatever it is, the coating uh, would get too hot uh, when they were being played with. And so they recalled them and then they released upgraded ones. And the upgraded ones apparently have like a little letter S on them or something. It doesn't look like I have the upgraded ones. So I'm basically risking my life to play these games so I can show them to you people. That might be a slight exaggeration. Right. So uh, 
anyway, I'll, I'll be careful. Don't worry. <laughs> but so aside from the fact that you you had to oops, you had to go out and buy this uh, in order to even be able to play the game, it was defective. So just marketing fail after marketing fail. Hmm. Shocking. So here is just an example box to sort of show you what is inside of, a, of each one of these, okay? First of all, there's a survey card. Exciting stuff. Ooh. Okay, this is something better. It's a little sticker you can actually put on the side of the controller. That might be really useful if you wanted to put them on the shelf and easily see which is which, I guess. The controller itself is wicked small. It's pretty tiny. <laughs> you can see, look at this. Yeah. But it's not too bad in the hand. One really nice bonus feature about these is they come with uh, changeable, I guess you'd call it cover art <laughs> for the controller itself. You just unscrew the top piece and and you can slip this in here. I'll show you what it looks like. Very nice. I love it that they give you the choice on that. It's easy to do. Very good feature. And they actually come with a pretty decent little manual. It's not super colorful, but it's got a couple colors anyway. It tells you how to play the game and stuff. And then there's even a little comic in the back. So I thought that was kind of nice. Good stuff. So basically, these are a bit of a pain. But I, I recommend them if you can find them for a decent price. Go for the, maybe the whole set if you can, and just get one set of these cables. Um, <laughs> I failed to mention, this is pretty lightweight, which is not a bad thing really. It doesn't feel that cheap necessarily, it's just light. But then you plug in this thing for the power, which, oh my head, it doesn't even want to fit in there, right? Really? <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. Uh, now I remember why. You have to plug... How does this work? The power cord... It's really kind of complicated. You have to plug... Not complicated, but different. The power in here. And so that actually gives it even more length because then you're not plugging the power directly into this thing itself. <sighs> okay. And then obviously that goes to the TV. Right? And then you've got this end. I can keep from dropping it. And it plugs in like this. And so when you're playing it, you've got this weight kind of hanging like that, right? Um, you can get around it though. You just kind of rest this on the table, and then it's not bad at all. There's just there's still a lot of things you have to do to work around it, right? And then you're you're playing like this. The reason I would recommend this though is, especially if you're a fan of the original arcade games, they're good ports and the sort of re remixed versions or, or the sequels or whatever you want to call them are uh, only available, as far as I know, on these things. You might be able to download it somewhere, you know, off of a torrent or something, an, an emulator or something, I don't know. but. Um, I mean, it would seem to me you can, but I don't know how readily available that kind of stuff is, and if you want to actually own it, as far as I know, this is the only way to do it. So, uh, maybe keep your eyes peeled, and if you do see them, know that you've got to have these things to play them, and uh, be careful, because yours might get hot, because I'm pretty sure mine's going to. Okay, thank you for watching. That is all until the next video where I'm going to play. So, uh, bye bye